I am Rahan and I'm a student from Prompton College and I'm here with Fiona and we're in Castle Hill Nature Reserve in New Haven. Why is there a green flag flying here? A green flag is given to a place when it's really well run, not just for nature, but for people as well. And you can see that we're really close to New Haven here. And this is a lovely, wild, open green space where people can walk up, get some exercise, um, look at the nature, clear their heads, just enjoy themselves. A green flag is given to a site when it's well managed, not just for wildlife, but welcoming and good for people too. And the green flag judges especially take notice of how much local people are involved in a site. So we're very lucky here at Castle Hill that there's a really good local conservation group, the Castle Hill Group. And it's because of the local group that we know so much about the wildlife that's here. Fiona, what makes this place so special? There are so many things that make Castle Hill special. It's full of wildlife and that's because it's very varied. We've got areas up here at the top of the cliffs and then we've got sheltered glades down below and the front of the cliffs themselves, that's all part of the nature reserve. The cliffs themselves have really interesting rock formations. There are students and geologists that come just to look at the cliffs, just to look at the layers of chalk and sands and clays. There's even a, a bed full of fossilised oysters up here. Uh, the other thing, of course, that makes it special is that as you walk around the reserve, you'll come across old military buildings and there's a concrete gun emplacement from World War II because we're right next to New Haven Fort and this was all part of the area that they used for the defences. Here on the cliffs, we get plants that really like the salty air. They thrive in it, like pink thrift, which is beautiful here in the spring and summer. It blooms all the way along the edges of the cliffs. Fiona, shall we go down to one of the clear glades? Down here, away from the cliffs, it's much more sheltered and we've got a lot of scrub and bushes and you can see they're covered in flowers and we get fruit in the autumn. So the insects and the birds will feed on all of this. But it used to be, it didn't used to be so scrubby. There were no trees or bushes here at all. It was just open downland and it was grazed by sheep. So there used to be much more open areas with wildflowers and we decided to cut some of the scrub and clear some glades like the ones that we've got here. This has attracted a lot of butterflies and other insects that prefer it down here where it's warmer and less windy. If you're interested in finding out more information about the nature reserve, check out the council's website.